Bestein B4, B6. What are the differences and which is the right shock absorber for your car workshop customers? That's what you'll find out here. The customer has arrived at the car workshop and needs new shock absorbers. What are the basic approaches in this situation? If the customer was satisfied with the standard handling characteristics of their standard suspension, we offer the B4 standard replacement shock absorbers. These will restore the as-new condition of the suspension. The OE expertise that we have gained in working with premium car makers ensures high quality standards that also extend to the production of our B4 shock absorber. The situation is different at the rear. That is to say, the customer has requested a tow bar as they often need to transport their e-bikes. What can you recommend here? In this case, the weight of the vehicle shifts backwards and negatively affects the driving stability. For this application, we have our B6 high-performance shock absorber, which offers better damping performance that maintains driving stability, but also driving comfort at the highest level. This shock absorber has no registration requirements and supports plug-and-play installation. This means that when the vehicle's use changes, the B6 provides added value. So, let's take a bit of a closer look at the B6. When talking about suspension optimization or suspension modification, we often hear terms such as tuning and lowering which we know is potentially dissuasive and want to stay away from. When developing suspensions or shock absorbers, such as the Bielstein B6, for instance, we maintain the standard vehicle height. This means that we operate the vehicle with standard springs. We examine where we can work on key points to make sure that the vehicle remains extremely stable. Stable braking behavior shows what actually happens at high speed or in a crosswind. These are all points that we consider, after which we can clearly develop a shock absorber with parts that we can genuinely optimize. First, we look at the technology that we are going to use. Is it twin tube technology? Is it single tube technology? Each time we develop these kinds of technologies, it is important that the shock absorber remains approved for road use. This means that it does not need to first be presented to a test organization and then registered. How do we achieve this? Quite simply, by maintaining the functional dimensions. For instance, the spring cap is in the same position as the standard spring cap used for the shock absorber that is normally in the vehicle. The other point is, for example, the suspension travel. The suspension travel is identical, which prevents unwanted contact and makes everything safe and secure. But when we develop this type of shock absorber, it's also very important that we don't just leave everything to the computer and simply increase the damping forces, but that we actually drive with the shock absorber to test it. This means, after creating the prototype, taking it to our test area where we install all the parts and then take it for a test drive. We conduct a final speed test, change lanes and test the shock absorber on poor roads. All of these tests are carried out with an empty vehicle. This means that two of my colleagues take it for a drive which we define as empty, as well as with a loaded vehicle, so around 80% of the permissible total weight. These are the individual points that we have. It is extremely important to conduct these types of tests and to make sure that they are always replicable. So, we know precisely what we have done. This type of test is unique, that is, unique in the aftermarket. This is clearly prescribed in the series production. No car maker buys shock absorbers from us that we have not developed on the road. But this provides a small window that many exploit. That is to say, from a purely technical perspective, only the damping force is increased. But that's not correct. The handling also always needs to be checked. Driving is the only way to ensure that the shock absorbers provide the right level of comfort. And as we like to say, to make sure that Bielstein shock absorbers provide sports comfort. As we saw before, the B6 can absolutely be recommended for a vehicle that often uses a bike carrier. But Mustafa, for which other customers would you consider using the B6? Exactly. So, besides its use with bike carriers, the B6 shock absorber can be recommended for vehicles with high loads that use trailers or even those with a gas tank. But we're still talking about standard suspensions. Personally, I really enjoy a sportier feel and like to sit a bit lower even when taking my own car out. What do you have in this area? 
This is where we have the Bielstein B8 shock absorber, which is shorter and ensures the pretension of lowering springs or sports springs. But this is still based on the B6? Correct. So, as you can see, the series replacement range is already extremely broad. From the B4 and B6 through to the B8, I can individually advise and support my customers and make them happy. After these products and the OE series, we also offer solutions for tuning and performance. Buchstein naturally also has a range of offers in this area. Why not take a look at the Buchstein website or the catalog? There's something for everyone.